We are back. It is day, I have no idea what, of it Fantastic is Fest. Day, please kill me. Somebody shoot me. <laughs> we, See, you, you guys, you, you just hang out here all day long. That's yeah. your problem. Yep. I'm not sure it's the problem, per se, but it is why I don't know what day it is, or <laughs> even what my name is. Oh, yeah, it's Cyrus. Cyrus, that's, that's my what it is today. And, and you know your name is Leon, because you've barely been here. I miss hey, the earth, I miss my wife. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I float in like a butterfly, but sting like a bee. Well, that is yet to be determined. <laughs> and joining us again, we have... Hi, it's Brian. I'm still alive. Uh, Jason. And, for the first time... Oh my god, it's Allison! I know, we get to let Allison Back talk. Oh, it's Allison, what? It's the first time your voice has even been on Spell in a long time. I know, that's crazy! <laughs> let's well, you, do it. Let's just jump right into this one, because, uh, like I said, we actually haven't gotten one of these for a couple of days no. now, because we've been drunk and disorderly, and oh, man. there was the Wait. fantastic feud, yeah, which was yeah. just... We're uh, not drunk and disorderly right now? Shit. I, I'm, I'm more drunk and morose. But uh, I, could it, get, I could get disorderly. So that's where it turns to by day five. Yes. <laughs> so Brian's over here with them. You know, whatever. <laughs> I'm still trying to find my liver after last night. Uh. So I can't consume anything at the moment. My bar tab was over a hundred fucking dollars. Yeah, you know what? I want to apologize about that too because uh, it turns out after the fact that eating your liver does not give me double liver powers. <laughs> and if I'd known that... was that, a failed experiment. It does if you have it with a nice Chianti. <laughs> and a side of fava beans. <laughs> But you know what? I want to start off talking about one of the movies I finally got to see that everyone was... You know, I kept saying Headhunters, which we've already reviewed, was my favorite movie, and it still is. Uh, but a lot of people go, oh, but have you seen a boy and his samurai yet? They're like, no. Okay, well, I've seen it. And this is a movie by uh, Yoshi- Yoshihiro uh, Nakamura. I'm probably saying his name totally wrong, but, you know. Uh, and he's the guy who did that film Fish Story that is years that ago Nikado? we raved yeah, about. Say, isn't that Nakato? No, no. <laughs> Here's, that's probably racist, but there's no actual Asians here, so I'm just going to let that go. <laughs> I don't even know if it is. Is it? Nikata, Ryan, Ryan's us. hung like one. I, what? <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, she, that's racist. You almost got him to go along with that. Yeah. Yeah. He, it, it wouldn't be that difficult. For one one more whiskey, and he's going like, you goddamn right I am. <laughs> don't tell all the ladies. <laughs> Uh, but this is uh, the same guy who did Fish Story, which we raved about in 2009, and still not available on DVD, but seemed to be unquestionably the hit of that year's festival, and last year, uh, Golden Slumber. And this one is based on a manga by, uh, once again, Jen Araki. I don't know if I'm saying that right or not. But, uh, Jen Araki. Uh, Thank you, John Rubio. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, but it's a surprisingly sweet little tale. Did anybody else see this but me? Yeah. No, I really yeah. want to. Yeah, I it's high up on my it. list. Yeah. Heard great things. God yeah. damn it. I know. Well, I, know. I heard things, Joey. Time <laughs> traveling sim. <laughs> you got to talk about it a little bit. Yeah, it's I great. Liked it. Couldn't be simpler of a story. That like right off the bat, you got a mo- single mom and her kid, who's pretty much a toddler. You know, mm. just a little beyond a toddler, who uh, see a full dressed samurai standing next to a grocery store when they're like, "Oh, that's weird." And then they run into him again a little later on, and they think, "Okay, this guy must be crazy or something," because he really thinks he's a samurai. But they let him into their apartment. <laughs> this wouldn't have been my reaction. Like Danny the Dog? Mine. Yeah. <laughs> it would have been, yeah. Yeah, sure enough. I also would have said, come on in. Yeah. That is an awesome sword. Dude. Well, who does your hair? Yeah. And, and Japan, they still use lead paint. So there's all the little chips that the kid has been eating. That, that could have had something to do with it. Uh, but it, it turns into, a, like, you know, it's a, obviously a fish out of water story because, like, it's feudal. Uh, I, I would wonder if they would even be able to understand each other, really. If the dialect wouldn't have been so different, they would have trouble conversing. But I, I guess, That requires a lot more study than I'm prepared yeah, to do. Not for the purposes of this film, where they got along just fine. And yes. he even learned to play Pokemon in a matter of minutes. Yeah, the, I'm, I'm sure it's like Bill and Ted's <laughs> Excellent Adventure, where they bring in all those historical yeah. characters to yeah, our except time. it's just one. Yeah. 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 The yeah, oven. Exactly, so crazy. and they understand they, all them. So they take crazy. him to the mall, yeah. to the Akibara district. <laughs> they do indeed. And he goes to uh, Oshman's and starts you know, <laughs> jacking shit up. Do you have a Ziggy Piggy? Oh, You're right, a Ziggy, Ziggy Piggy. Piggy. Sadly, there's not really you want. I, you know, as the type of person I am, I wanted to see this guy go crazy and start chopping people up at some point. Yes. Right? Yeah. This isn't that kind of movie. This is actually a really sweet kind of family movie that works great. It totally nails it on every level. I will say this: I saw the. Tra- trailer for this movie and it wasn't in English and there were no English subtitles and I was still laughing four or five times during the trailer you know with no context at all so I can't imagine like seeing it in theaters I'm sure I would really dig it yeah it's genuinely funny it's genuinely cute but not in a cloying way it's got really good performances and at the end you just you had warmed heart cockles that's all I can say <laughs> you know, the, co- you know, the cockles of your heart 
I'm telling you, they were in a subcockle area. <laughs> well, I don't talk about that with people unless I know them really well. <laughs> yes, that Alice... is my hand on your leg under the table. <laughs> and with Allison, do it warm her cuntles? Really? <laughs> <laughs> we just talked about New Kids Turbo, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> Where they used that word like 157 times. But Leon, have you seen some stuff since we last reviewed stuff with you? Uh, well, you haven't reviewed anything with me. Oh, I thought you were you were on yeah, one of these. Yeah, you were on. Yeah. <laughs> really? Tell me, which one was I on? You were on with... He was on. Wasn't it? Yeah, it was me and you and Brian and Tony. And you and Tony had to leave. Sorry. Right? You were on, uh, I don't know, you were on one. I'm not then, imagining so. that, am I? I Yeah, you gotta be. Right, we are traveling through miles of hangovers. <laughs> what movies did you see? All right, uh, should I start with the best or the worst? Start with the best. Best. My favorite movie I saw was Borderline, which was kind of like a French Breaking Bad. Really? Yeah, I mean, it's a dark comedy. Not about the Madonna song. No. Okay. No, yeah. absolutely not. But it's about... You um, are going to make me lose my mind by making that <laughs> comparison, though. <laughs> it's about a middle-aged guy. He's a lawyer, uh, he's, and he's got two kids. He's got a, a hot wife who... They've been married for about 20 years, but she just doesn't seem to respect him all that much. She's, she, she's frustrated. He drives a tiny car. The people at his work don't respect him. He's got a young buck who's trying to make him look bad at work. Um, walks a little dog. Just, just not a happy guy. And out, he's out late walking his dog. Two guys come running by, bump into him, take off. And they leave a gym bag. And he picks it up, and it's full of some bricks of cocaine. So he's like, oh, shit. Uh, I'm going to walk it out. He sees the cops. He puts it down. The cops stop him. They say, hey, you left your, hey, you left your bag back there. So he's got to go, oh, okay. So he just decides after a while, you're like, you know what? What if I were to sell some of this? I mean, there's a cell phone that calls him, looking for William, wanting to buy some. All right. Now he's got extra money. The wife, she's, she's like, you know, she finds out she's pissed, but then once she, this is all this money that they can spend now, she's happy. And they start having a great life. Until... Yeah, the other until shoe they buy drops. the car wash. Yes. The <laughs> until they buy the car <laughs> yeah. wash. The other shoe drops in the form of the gangster who owned the stuff finds him. And it's just like, Oops. oh. <laughs> Okay, well, um, you're going to pay me back, or you're just going to keep selling for me. And it, it goes into that, like, you know, it's a movie that can be funny at times, but it also gets really tense. And it's like, it's one of these stories where, you know, from the minute I tell you the premise, you kind of know some of the things are going to happen, and still it's done so well that I enjoyed it all the way through. And I heard, like, even though there was kind of, like, the selling it in the manual was as more of a, like, a darker thing, it was actually pretty much just a comedy on the whole. What a lot well, of I can say, it, it goes back and forth. Yeah. I, mean, I apologize. I actually wrote that blurb in the guide, so yeah. if, it, if it was misleading, that's all my fault. Now, Brian, I, I thought you actually did, had a different opinion of this one. I, you know, I I am really surprised to how many people enjoyed this movie a lot. I, I found it to be very mediocre. Uh, I just I don't know. It wasn't a bad movie by any stretch of the imagination. It just didn't really grab me, and I wasn't uh, I wasn't too thrilled with how easy it seemed to come to the you know how you know Breaking Bad or or, or Weeds like. There's a lot of shit that happens before the characters make the decision to venture into those like really you know seedy areas. Whereas in Borderline, it was just like, sure, let's sell it. And it's like, yeah, he's having a bad day. He doesn't make partner. His wife gets fired. There's stuff that's going on. But like, think about how bad. Uh, 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 God, uh, Walter White. Yes, thank you. Walter White's life had to be before he got to that point. Yes, but I, I would I would argue on that that one this is more of a comedy than Breaking Bad is. Which, I, I which, think yeah. you would be you would be right in that assessment. But also what what Breaking Bad has over this is several episodes where this has you know it's got that hour and a half to get, to get the story yeah. going and. No, uh, under that conceit, I, I was able to, to go with it. Yeah, I mean, it's the kind of thing where right off the bat you go like, wow, this is such a bad idea. Anybody else would take a long time to do it. Yeah. But being that it was a comedy, I mean, that's part of the, the you know, I guess the fun of it is yeah. that they, they go right into it and how well it works out without them really thinking about the consequences. But right. when they do show up, I thought, wow, they, they actually were able to pull, pull it in and have me on the edge of my seat. Hey, don't get me wrong. I am really happy that people are enjoying this movie. I just, I, I honestly thought it was going to be one that didn't play very well, so I'm happy to be proven wrong on this one. Did anybody else see this? No, I didn't nope. have any zombies in it. <laughs> <laughs> Allison, well, have you seen any movies? I did. I saw a few movies. 
I really liked Two Eyes Staring. See, now that's one. I have, did we talk about that or not? We did. I hadn't seen it. I have since seen it. Okay, so, so let's go ahead and talk about it some more yeah. then. Go ahead. I uh, was on standby for it and got pulled in, and apparently I'm a tough customer. That's what I got told. I, I got told that I'm a tough customer. But thanks, thanks like, Luke. <laughs> yeah. But I really, it was creepy and beautiful. Give, give the premise. The premise is that this little girl, I'm thinking, what, eight, seven or eight? Yeah, something like that, yeah. Moves from Holland to Belgium with her family. Uh, and the mother, having inherited her dead mother's house in Belgium in this old, creepy like perfect setting, ghost story, house, creaky shit. Everything's creaky. Everything's breaking down. And yeah. Dead, 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 crap There's dead. like flies. It's like totally creepy ghost story house. They totally move into. Oh, they move into. They yeah. move into it's it. Allison's dream house, basically. basically. <laughs> <laughs> I scan the Austin real estate pages for that house on a daily basis. I'm, I'm sorry, sir, but you know, I know this house is lovely and all, but. You say only six people died here, and I was really looking for something more in the 12 to 15 I'm range. I'm looking for something where we could still dig bodies up onto the floorboard. Is there so. not a cellar? <laughs> it's like, well, the Adams have already written an offer, so if you don't want to counter. Oh, God, those guys. Um, so it's very beautiful from an art direction point of view. The color usage is really pretty, and I think that the title... Is Dutch for licorice water, but I could totally be. <laughs> no, no, what she, was that? No, she's she's right. Is actually, it? yeah. Okay. It, it, well, the the actual title, uh, two eyes staring, is just the title for English British. language, right? Yeah. Uh, but the uh, the the title that came up was uh, um, basically black water, black water. Or right. dark water, oh, and okay. licorice water figures into the story, which is the but, weirdest. Who the fuck yeah, drinks like, licorice I water? They're bringing up with the movie, and I'm like, people. what the. Well, it's, right. it takes place in Belgium because at first they're in Holland yeah. and then they go to Belgium later. Right, when they inherit the house. Yeah, and, and that's apparently what you do in Belgium. You drink, you drink licorice yeah. water. Licorice Which, water. if I'm going to drink now licorice I'm, water, I'm just going to drink absinthe. I mean, yeah. to be honest. Why fuck around? It's funny because they make such great beer. Right, Can exactly. You imagine exactly. saying, like, it's Jägermeister, but without the alcohol. Uh, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Which, but it figures nightclub? into the story, but you can't really call something licorice water. In you the know? U.S. and get any kind yeah. of... Yeah, like people go, I don't even know what that is. Movie. All I know is it makes me want to stay far, far away from it. Yeah. But, but really good... I mean, you you are defeated the second you think it's going to be the, the typical creepy ghost story. It's not the typical creepy ghost story. And yet, it is such a creepy it ghost story. It goes in some unique 